Today, I'm going to present a preliminary study on Cantonese tone production by young heritage speakers. I will start my presentation with a brief introduction. According to Robin, a heritage language refers to a language spoken at home or otherwise readily available to young children. Crucially, this language is not a majority language of the larger society. Heritage speakers are exposed to their heritage language since birth. They hear and speak the language as well as the majority language of the society sequentially or simultaneously in early childhood. So heritage speakers are by definition bilingual speakers. In the rest of my presentation, I will use HL to represent heritage language. Previous studies on the phonological HL development reveal two main issues. Lots of research focus on the ultimate attainment of heritage speakers and compare it um, to that of the monolingual speakers. The onset of schooling is regarded as an important time point for HL uh, development. Since at this time, the heritage speakers start to be exposed to the majority language of the society, leading to the shift of their dominant language from heritage language to the majority language of the society. However, in recent years, um, some researchers argue that in addition to the end stage of the language development, the initial stage of the HL development uh, is important as well. In addition, a larger issue related to uh, language variation and sound change attracts lots of attentions. This issue is affected by both social and linguistic factors. Previous studies on the tonogenetic pattern uh, of the Korean stops and vowel merging in Cantonese support the idea. There are some studies uh, on heritage Chinese phonology. Most of them are on Mandarin, and the studies primarily focus on teenagers or adult speakers. Research on young heritage speakers in particular those in the initial stage of the um, language development is lacking. We would like to fill this gap. Heritage Cantonese is an ideal choice for the studies of uh, HL development um, because uh, it has a complex tone system. There are six lexical tones contrasting both pitch height and pitch contour in Cantonese, uh, including three level tones two rising tones and one falling tone. Multiple studies focus on the acquisition of Cantonese tones among uh, monolingual children and Cantonese English bilingual children. A recent work reveals that Hong Kong children have not fully acquired all Cantonese tone by six years old. We predict um, that lower accuracy rate with more individual variation may appear among HL children. Only two prior studies focus on the acquisition of heritage Cantonese tone. Both of them reveal that uh, heritage speakers perform worse than homeland speakers in tone identification. And these two groups use different strategies in tone identification. However, no tone pattern has been revealed and a variance among heritage speakers remains unexplained. What's more, Lam, in 2017, uh, study the adult heritage speakers. And in 2019, Canon's group uh, investigated heritage speakers from five to 11 years old. None of these studies focus on young heritage speakers before school age. We investigate um, the HL children aged from two to six years old, aiming to find out um, developmental pattern of Cantonese tone productions by young heritage speakers in Vancouver. There are some predictions. We predict um, that the heritage speakers may share a similar tone developmental pattern with the monolingual children, and they also may face limitations as L2 learners. What's more, the variations and sound change is predicted to exist in tone acquisitions among young heritage speakers. In this study, we collected data cross-sectionally through a picture naming task. A special immigration background 
of Vancouver, Canada, provide us a, a very valuable pool of potential participants for the HL studies. According to the government of Canada, there are about uh, 19 and 2,000 Canadians speak Cantonese as their first language in Vancouver. 25 HL children who were born and raised in Vancouver were included in our study. Um, we separate them into four groups. 40 Hong Kong children aged from two to six years old were included as the homeland speakers. 10 native Hong Kong Cantonese speakers aged about uh, from 15 to 16 years old uh, were included as the reference speakers. There are 30 monosyllabic words are, were included in the picture naming task. Most of them came from the Hong Kong Cantonese articulation test, the Hong Kong CAT. We also added 11 supplementary words for certain tones. During the picture naming task, the experimenter elicited uh, with the questions like, what is this in Cantonese? The participants were instructed to name the pictures uh, in isolation twice. We analyzed the data uh, by using the plot script called uh, Property Pro uh, with 30 equivalent points. In, in addition to the tone patterns, we also evaluate um, the level tones and two similar tone pairs. Regarding the level tones, we compare the ratios of average absolute height between tone one and tone three and between tone three and tone six. For the rising tone pair, we compare their magnitude of rise and inflection point. Regarding the low tone pair, tone four and tone six, we compare the magnitude of four. Now let's look at the results. The first picture uh, shows you the overall pitch contour uh, of the productions produced by the heritage speakers. Generally speaking, the productions of heritage speakers uh, can be divided into six tone categories, even though uh, the separation is not as clear as the productions of homeland and reference speakers. Uh, however, some different patterns uh, have been found uh, regarding the level tones and some similar tone pairs. For example, tone one produced um, by the HL children uh, with a falling contour which is deeper compared to the, the tone one produced by homeland and reference speakers. Uh, what's more, uh, the onset part uh, of the two rising tone, tone two and tone five, um, shows different patterns. Um, the patterns of the heritage, the HL pattern uh, shows a reverse uh, of the reference pattern. For the distance between the offset of two low tones, tone four and tone six, um, there are some differences. The HL distance um, between these two low tones is closer um, than the distance produced by uh, Homeland and reference speaker. We also explore the general tone pattern according to age groups among HL children. Except for the uh, oldest group, um, the tone cat the productions of HL children can no longer be divided into six category clearly. Uh, also, we found overlaps uh, of tone two and tone five, as well as the tone six and tone four uh, among the young heritage speakers. In terms of these uh, similar tone pairs, uh, we have further evaluations. First of all, let's look at the level tones, tone one, tone three, and tone six. We evaluate um, the ratios of average absolute height and compare them between tone one, tone three, and tone six. Uh, we found that um, the ratios uh, of tone one and tone of absolute height between tone one and tone three um, is larger um, than that of tone three and tone six, which means that um, the distance between tone one and tone three um, produced by all age groups uh, is larger than um, the distance between tone three and tone six. However, significant difference can only be found 
in the youngest HL children and the reference speakers. For the rising tone pairs, tone two and tone five, we evaluated the position of minimum F0 value and also compare the magnitude of rise. Uh, regarding the inflection point, uh, except for the youngest HL children, um, all the age group, including the reference speakers, produce tone two uh, with an earlier inflection point compared to the production of tone five. In terms of the magnitude of rise, uh, all age group, including the HL children and reference speakers, produce tone two uh, with a um, larger with a larger magnitude of rise compared to the production of tone five, which means that um, the rising slope of tone two pitch contour is deeper than the pitch contour of tone five. However, no significant difference can be found among character speakers. Regarding the low tone pairs, tone four and tone five, we compare the magnitude of four between these two low tones. All age group, including the HL children and the reference speakers, produce tone four uh, with a larger magnitude of four uh, than uh, the production of tone six, which means that the falling slope uh, of tone four, the of tone four pitch contour is deeper than the pitch contour of tone six. However, no significant difference can be found among the heritage speakers. In addition to tone pattern, we also find uh, a special error pattern in the production of two heritage speakers. These two children produce uh, the reduplicated word uh, with a citation tone pattern, tone one, tone one, um, in another uh, template like tone one and tone three. For example, the child age three um, produced te te car in te te. And the child age uh, five produced uh, fa fa flower in fa fa. The high low template adopted by these two children is similar to the English cocaine pattern. Based on the result, we have the following discussions. Generally speaking, uh, the HL children shared a similar pitch contour pattern uh, with homeland and reference speakers, um, showing that there are six tone categories. However, the acoustic features of the high level tone and some similar tone pairs differ between the heritage speakers and the reference speakers. Our data also suggests that um, young Cantonese heritage speakers have not fully acquired all Cantonese tones at age six, which concurred uh, with the findings among um, monolingual children and uh, Cantonese English bilingual children. Our evaluation on um, the similar tone pairs revealed uh, tone two, tone five merging phenomenon among uh, heritage speakers, uh, which, um, can, which can be a um, evidence to support that language variations and sound change is happening among heritage speakers uh, in terms of the heritage tone system. Um, this kind of tone merger had been also found in Hong Kong Cantonese speakers as well as the L2 learners of Cantonese, uh, which meet with our predictions that um, heritage speakers may have the similar tone developmental patterns uh, with the uh, Hong Kong Cantonese monolingual speakers, and they may also face limitations as the L2 learners of Cantonese. The high low template uh, adopted by two uh, HL children is similar to the English cocaine pattern, which is affected by the interaction between Cantonese and uh, English prosodic system. Um, such instances all have also been found in bilingual children and adult heritage speakers. Even though the statistical comparisons uh, in our study have, most of the uh, statistical comparison in our study uh, are not significant due to the small sample size. As a preliminary study, uh, we do found, find uh, some instances um, that are that concurred uh, with the findings in previous studies among like the 
monolingual Cantonese speakers, uh, bilingual speakers, and heritage speakers. Uh, more data should be collected for further study. Finally, we would like to thank uh, Professor Molly Babel and her research assistants at the University of British Columbia for facilitating our data collection. That's all uh, of my presentations. These are the references. Thank you for your listening.